Hello Lions and Lock Hill families, Mrs. Abbott here, and I am going to share with you Nearpod. Now, Nearpod is an app that the students use in the music room on the class set of iPads. The app is accessible both on iPhones and iPads and other smart technology. My hope is that you are able to continue making your stay at home as musical as possible with a few assignments that I will be letting loose on Nearpod. I have put together a how-to video with a screen capture of how to navigate the site with one of the assignments so that way you have a clear example of what to expect when utilizing the app. Without further ado, let's look at this video. So what you're going to do is navigate to Safari or Google Chrome, whichever service you utilize to search. Type in Nearpod and you're going to select the first link that pops up from the search. From here, you may be prompted to sign in. However, if you go to the top right hand corner and choose log in, the page will navigate you to a student code entry. Your code will be what you would utilize to access the lesson. Codes will be listed in Google Classroom. Do not worry about the caps of the code because it will be automatic on the site. Once you press join, Nearpod is going to ask for you to put in a name. Don't worry about a nickname or an optional name. Just keep it simple and press join session. This particular lesson is about instrument families. So you will navigate through the slides with the blue arrows. There are videos that you can watch and short activities at the end. Because of our subscription through Nearpod, you're able to make notes throughout the lesson. So if you connect your notes to your Google Classroom, you will be able to keep your notes there for future reference. Here's an example. By opening the notes navigator at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to go through each slide and quickly access the notes that have been made upon or throughout the presentation. For this particular assignment, we'll have to utilize the draw it feature on Nearpod. So what you'll be able to do is you will be able to digitally add notation on to the site or the slide as if it were a worksheet. So for this example, we are naming the instrument families and then drawing or connecting the name of the instrument to the pictures below. Remember to use that navigation of slides at the bottom to aid you in remembering information you've already looked at. You do have the option to use the text feature, which is where you can actually type in your answers for the assignment. There are also ways to manipulate the color and size of your answers. This icon here indicates the erase all feature. So if you make a royal mistake, no worries, just erase the worksheet and you'll be able to add the information in as you would like. If you don't make a royal mistake and it's just a small uh-oh, you may go down to the bottom of the screen and select the eraser feature. Remember to navigate from slide to slide using those blue arrows. It is also important that you press submit at the end of the presentation or throughout each slide so your work is saved accordingly. When it's time to submit your assignment, you're going to go to the top right hand corner Press that black drop down arrow and choose exit. Confirm your selection with yes, and that's all that needs to be done. All right, everyone, that is your Nearpod how-to. If you have any more questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Please look at Dojo and Google Classroom regularly for Abbott's announcements. Be safe, be healthy, but most of all, make music.